Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp sets Basket in Bloom and I used the vase and Painted Poppies and I used this poppy here. For the sentiment I used Butterfly Wishes and I used Birthday Wishes. The cardstock I've got a white card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth folded in the middle and I have a piece of white card at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside I have a piece of pretty peacock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths I have a piece of white at Three and five eighths by five and three eighths. So I want a bigger border. And then I have a piece of DSP. This is from uh, Forever Fern Greenery. Designer Series Paper. And that measures three and three eighths by five and five eighths. No, that'll be wrong. Three and three eighths by five and one eighths. And that'll go in there like that. I also have a piece cut out from ornate layers and I used the this one. And I'm also going to use Stitch So Sweetly for the sentiment. And I'm going to use this one. This little one here. So I need a scrap of white for that. Which I've got. Um, so let's get started. Let's do our stamping first. Right, start with we're going to stamp ah, and I need a piece of post it note. Right, we're going to stamp the vase first. So with my memento black ink and the vase stamp, ink it up. Now I'm going to turn this sideways so that I can pop this. in the middle and I've put it just above the holes in the um, stitching just getting a wet wipe out to clean me Stamps. Right, now I'm going to get a piece of post-it note and I'm going to just put it just so I can see the line of the vase. Can you see what I'm doing? Just so you can see the line of the vase so that I can stamp the flowering. Now this will just fit in between the dots. Like that. And then lift it up. That way, because I had the line showing, it's gone right down to the line. So that just needs colouring when it dries. Now, 
we will do the um, sentiment and for that I've brought my Versafine Onyx Black and we'll just stamp that in the middle there nice and we'll cut that out on that so for that I need my plates pair of scissors to cut this down There we have our sentiment. Rubbish. Put that to one side and then put this die away. Right, let's colour in our vase and our flower. Right, I have got real red for the flower. On older live for the leaves and stems, and I have got soft sea foam, Bermuda Bay, I think this is light Bermuda Bay, and light and dark pretty peacock. So we'll do the flower first. Let's get that done. I'm doing the leaves first. There we are, so stem and the leaf coloured in. Now we do the flowers. With soft sea foam, I am just going to do a line down the middle, and then with the Bermuda Bay, I'm just going to go either side of this lightly, don't want a lot. not to be straight because the reflection isn't straight right with the light Bermuda Bay we're going to colour the rest in right across the top and then just either side of it The 
so I don't go outside the edge. And with the dark, just do a thin line across the top and then over the shoulders and the neck, just come down a bit, in the corners, and this side that has quite a bit of shading on it. And then, with soft sea foam, I'm going to go over the whole lot again. But that shadow, that line's too thick, so and too long. Too thick there. Oh yeah. And that is our mods coloured in. And now we just stick this all together. Get my glue. The reason I picked this paper rather than that, I wanted a plain side, but this has actually got pretty peacock in the pattern. So is this side. This on the pretty peacock. Put the piece inside. See, this is where I've cut it and I've glued down the wrong side. Got a ridge, but that's all right. Smooth it out. Now these I put on in with dimensionals. 
So. Oh, wrong box. The thing is today. Right, and one, two, no. One side of this doesn't have one on. So Set it back and off. I'm going to lay that to the left. And this just goes on there, straight. And I'm going to add some pearls, and I'm just adding three pearls there. And my pearls are actually, these ones are actually joined together. So there we have it. There is today's card. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.